Hello, Akako. It's Pastor Keith, and it's morning prayer for Thursday, May 9th, 2024. I think I may have typed out the wrong day and number, or it may have switched it around or something. I'm not sure what happened for yesterday. So, anyways, uh, in case you're wondering what day it is, it's Thursday, May 9th, and it is Ascension Day. 40 days after Easter, according to Luke, Jesus uh, and the tradition, Jesus uh, ascends into heaven, as we say. Let me read the first 11 verses of Acts, the first chapter, the Acts of the Apostles, which was written by, uh, by the tradition according to Luke as a follow-up to the Gospel of Luke. In the first book, Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus did and taught from the beginning until the day when he was taken up to heaven, after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. After his sufferings, he presented himself alive to them by many convincing proofs, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While staying with them, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going, and they were gazing up toward heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up toward heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Hmm. So this is, this is the ascension according to uh, Acts, uh, according to uh, supposedly Luke, right? And look at it. There's suddenly two men in white robes, sort of like at the resurrection. So this is a big deal. This is a big deal. And he has to leave so that they can receive the spirit of Jesus and the Father, so that empowered by the spirit, they can share the good news of Jesus, not just with the Jews, but with the Gentiles. And so Luke in Acts and in Luke has a more uh, missionary feel to it than Matthew, Mark, and John. Uh, he, more than the others, really sees the churches going out into the world to declare the gospel to those who were not Jews, the Gentiles, right? Right. So that's, that's how that works. And um, they have a summary of what they're sharing about uh, him dying and rising so that they could share that God conquers sin, death, and evil through death and resurrection, cross, and empty tomb. We need Jesus incarnate to go away in his body so that we, through the power of the Spirit, may be his body. We may, in one sense, be Christ to those in need. And so people spend a lot of time saying, well, where did he really go? You know, where, where is he? And I like to kind of paraphrase Martin Luther, who said, he went to the Father, and he zipped it. Where did Jesus go? Martin could get annoyed. He went to the Father. Well, where is the Father? You know, we have sometimes this heaven is up here, hell is down there, and earth's in between. But I think of it this way. Jesus went to the Father, Mother, Creator, so that the Spirit could come from the Father, Mother, Creator, and make us the body of Christ. Jesus went to the Father. Where is the Father? But with the Son. 
and where is the sun, but in, with, under, and around us. God is here, not some up there, but here. And that kind of thinking makes me feel so much better about the presence of God. God is with us, among us, around us, incarnate in our own flesh. That's what the ascension means. And sometimes I get more excited about ascension than I do Christmas, Easter, and Pentecost, because in some weird way, it all seems to wrap up in this one day, always a Thursday, always 40 days after Easter. Well, enough. I got excited. E pule, Kako. Let us pray. Almighty God, your blessed Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, ascended far above all heavens that he might fill all things. Mercifully give us faith to trust that, as he promised, he abides with us on earth to the end of time, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. It's kind of like Trinity, right? Jesus ascends to the Father that the Spirit might come and be with us. And in the power of the Spirit, in the name of Jesus, we pray to the Father, the Mother, Creator, who is present among us. And may that triune God, the ever-present, ever-loving God, the Creator, the Redeemer, and the Sanctifier, bless you today, protect you, and let you ascend into the life, yes, the life here with God. Amen.